Hi everybody, today I will teach you how you can easily scrape any Amazon search directly into Google Sheets. So basically the idea is to build an Amazon search scraper into Google Sheets. So to do that, you first need to install an extension which is called Import from Web. So to do that, I just go to the Google Workspace Marketplace or you can also get it directly from Google. You look for Import from web just like that okay this is the first result that one you click on it and then you just have to install it within two clicks you will get it in any google sheets uh, basically import from web is an extension that can scrape any data from any website and we have we have configured it so Scraping data from Amazon is really easy and you don't need any technical knowledge to do it. So I open a new Google Sheets and I'm going to activate the add-on just like this. So it's going to open a search a sidebar on the right of your screen. And in the meantime, I'm going to look for a yoga mattress because this is a query I'm going to try to scrape. So let's enter yoga mattress, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I will show you how you can easily extract the product listing you have on that page. OK, so import from web, just to explain you rapidly, um, runs with a function. So it gives you a new function within your Google Sheets environment. You just type in import from web, just like that. And that function, as any other Google Sheet function, requires some arguments. Uh, it basically requires two arguments. The first one is the URL, which means the data source. In our case, this is the Amazon.com search page. And second, the selectors, meaning the data, the data points you want to get into your Google Sheets. So let's continue the demo. The first thing I need then is the, the URL of that query. So let's paste it uh, in that column, just like that. OK. Um, and the second, things, the second thing is uh, the data selector. So um, here are a few. Let's say the ASIN. I want the, the, the product ASIN from that query. I want the name of the product, so I have to input title. I want the price as well. Um, let's say the rating, um, the image that can be useful sometimes, featured image source. This is what you have to type in. And the last thing is the link. OK, there you go. So um, now, how to extract this product listing? So that's quite easy. So I just input my function, import from web, as I explained to you. So the first argument is uh, the, the URL, OK, from the Amazon, just a comma. And then I will look for the selectors I want from that page. OK, I just close the brackets. I validate my function. And you see that it's going to process. So basically, what's happened? What's happening? Import from web is a kind of a scraper. So it goes to the Amazon page, that page, it takes it and it retrieves from the page this, uh, this data you asked for, OK? So you can monitor the function. So you see that it's like uh, working. And now I get my list of, of products, just like that. So I got the, the AC in the title. Uh, the feature image source and the link. OK, uh, imagine that the first page is not enough for you. So you want the other results. You, you know that Amazon have a lot of results page. So the same way I take the second page URL, I paste it here and I will just do a slight modification within my function, meaning that instead of just calling the first URL, I need the first two pages just like this. So I input B3 as well. I validate. And you'll see that instead of the 25 or 30 products, I will get a full list of 
50 or up to 60 products, just like that. 97 products, that's fine. Okay, so I can close it. Uh, you see that the recent request in that one I've just made, um, I'm gonna show, show you a few other things. So the good thing is I have the image. Um, so let's, uh, let's get it and just let's let's display the image with the well-known image function of google sheets um and i'm going to call that url which is the image source and now i have it okay so i can imagine i can enlarge um increase a bit the, the heights of the columns so i would see them properly and i just track down my um my function Okay, the second thing I want to show you is uh, something I can demo in a different video, but um, I'll, you don't have any, any piece of information from uh, the, the product in the search page. Okay, so imagine you want to scrape uh, like the, the bullet points or from the, any single product or the, the, the winner of the buy box. So, what I can do is um, I can take the full list of link I get here. Okay, so I just copy it. And in the second tab, um, let me remove this. Or I will open a third tab just to demo it better. Um, so I paste my list of URL. Better to paste it as values, just like that. Okay. Uh, I will use uh, to build the URL because I don't have it all. So I will use the concatenate function with uh, the Amazon uh, URL, just like this, dot com. Um, I close this and the data one is A2, right? I just close it, I validate. And I apply to the to the um, to all the rows of my spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to show you how with import from web you can go further within your dashboard or your spreadsheets, um, just retrieving data from any single products I have. So let's say I go to this yoga mat and I want um, these bullet points. Or I want to know who's the buy box winner. In that case, it's Amazon.com itself. Um, so again, I have to input a list of data selectors. So again, I will put the ACE in. Uh, I will look for the bullet points. Okay, and I will look for the buy box winner. The list of selectors I'm inputting in those two spreadsheets will be added into the description of the video. So no worries there. Um, basically, for the Amazon search, we can collect, um, import from web can collect all the, 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 the content displayed on that page. Then for every single product, you can collect up to 60 data points. So let's just illustrate it with three data points. Um, so again, I play with my function import from web, open the parentheses, okay, the URL I want, and then the data selectors I want. Okay, I just validate, validate the function, and you see that for this first product, I will extract, or I am extracting those three um, information from the page, okay? Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna prepare the, the data collection for the for the, the, the full set of my products here. Okay, so here you are. You see that for the bullet points, it displays um, uh, the, the, the descriptions in four single in four different rows. So I can add an option to my Google to my function, which we call compare. That option um, helps you to to stick the content within one row, okay? Just like that. So you see, it's not better. And now I'll do last thing is, I will fix my selectors, uh, adding the dollars. Um, so I'm sorry, I'll do it manually, just like this. Okay, 
and now I'm ready to, to apply my function to my whole entire list of URL, just like this. And you see it's loading, meaning that the scraper, the import from web scraper goes to every single page to extract the data you have requested with those three selectors. Okay. So you see, it's quite easy. Uh, you now should be able to scrape data directly from the any Amazon search. We did it with Yoga Mattress, but any query works on any Amazon store. So whether you are French, German, Indian, you can make it um, just like that, just copying and pasting the URL you want. The last thing I want to show you is we have built a template to, to make it even easier. So this is what I got, uh, I'll show you in this uh, spreadsheet. Um, so I have activated import from web. So it's even easier. You just have to input your query. So let's say yoga mattress, sorry, yoga mattress. Um, we are on amazon.com and just as we did in the previous demo, I just want the first two pages of results. Okay. Uh, then you activate the add-on and then the templates will do the job for you. Okay. Because the function is already inputted in that cell. So this template will be added into the description of the video. So check it as well. And you see that you have the, the data selector I showed you previously in that in that room. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. You see our, our scraper is still working there, but I mean, for 100 of URL can take like a few seconds more, but you'll get all your, of your results. I hope you enjoy.